The Mayans started using pots like these 2,600 years ago, probably for hot chocolate. They've evolved since then. And today, aficionados consider them essential for that perfect cup of tea. Silver-plated teapots come in many different styles, and making them requires the talent and skill of an old world master. A century-old hand circling machine cuts a perfect circle out of a brass sheet that's six hundredths of an inch thick. Then the disc heads to the press. After lubricating the press surface with vegetable oil, the disc is positioned and covered with a polyurethane stopper. As the press applies its three tons of pressure, the die moves upward, shaping the disc from underneath. The stopper, meanwhile, provides a counter pressure to keep the die from breaking through the brass as it thins and stretches. They call this the draft shape. It then goes into another die that produces the final shape of the teapot's base. Next, they solder on the teapot rim, which was made the same way. A craftsman then hammers the metal to remove any imperfections left by the pressings, and punches in the maker's mark. Spinning is another technique used to form metal teapot parts. Here, a craftsman shapes a copper teapot mounted on a lathe. The metal is decorated using a technique called hand chasing. With a paper stencil, he applies the design in white powder. He pencil traces the pattern, then hammers in the design with a variety of tools. This intricate process requires the talented hands of an expert artisan. For the teapot spout, workers press brass plates into left and right side dies. A quarter ton press produces the final spout shape. Soldering paste is brushed onto the halves. They're wired together, then fired to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The spout gets an acid bath to remove all the impurities left behind from the soldering process. Workers polish the teapot with three progressively finer grades of pumice, which is crushed volcanic rock. One final buffing ensures the surface is perfectly smooth. With diamond-tipped hand tools, engravers can etch anything onto the teapot, from custom designs to company logos. Workers now screw on the lid, wire up the teapot, and immerse it in cleaning chemicals followed by a silver plating bath. Just before shipping, they attach hardware and perform a final cleaning. Finally, the teapots are wrapped in acid-free cellulose to prevent the silver from tarnishing. It takes a highly skilled team of craftspeople to create these unique teapot designs. In styles ranging from Elizabethan to ultra-modern, beautiful and functional. <laughs>